Boy, what a couple of days. You know, uh, we've really had some guys step up and do what I would say are extraordinary things. I mean, just go above and beyond. Uh, position players that have played every inning and, and still just busting their tails and taking extra bases, doing all the things that they can to help us win. Pitchers stepping up. And like today, you know, we have a guy go on one day's rest and give us four quality, quality innings. I mean, you just can't – you can't even put a finger on how hard that is to do. And we've had three or four guys that more, – more than that, but just on the mound, three or four guys who have really stepped up and done some incredible things. And you talk about so many guys stepping up. I mean, how big is that? And to do what you guys have done, obviously you're not done yet, but you can't go through the lineup. You've got to stop on every single – player and then the, on the pitching staff I mean just everybody's done something. You know that's the neat thing about it I think it's it's uh it's such a team thing and and you know it's, it's fun when you're a part of it I've, I've been a part of some groups at times where there's individuals and stuff it's so much better when it's a team thing and, and right now nobody cares how they do they just want the team to win and you can see stuff like that like man on third middle infield back Gavin Golson basically just gives himself up and hits a ground ball to second base I mean and that's winning baseball. I mean, that, that's how you win games like that. And uh, for your nine-hole hitter to be contributing in a way and just saying, hey, I want to do whatever I can for the team, it's fantastic. And we've had a lot of that going on. And then defensively, they've like, you made so many big plays. I mean, that catch by Gavin is as good as you'll see it anyway. Yeah, you know, um, I think sometimes we get spoiled, especially at shortstop. Andrew has – had a phenomenal year and, and you just kind of blow it off and like well that's what shortstops are supposed to do we've seen it so many times Gavin's play in left center field that that might be one of the best plays I've ever seen because we're looking from the dugout and it looks like there's no chance and he started closing ground on that ball in an unbelievable way and he can really run we know that but he's gotten better and better as an outfielder because as you know he came here as an infielder he's had to learn to play out there and that, that was a huge catch and it really helped Shields get through that fourth inning. Well, when we scored that one, that was huge. You know, to be able to tie it back up, I thought it was fantastic. You know, from their standpoint, they did exactly what you don't want to do. After a seven-run inning, they walked two, and we're able to get a run. But we, we took advantage of those walks. And then we felt like, okay, here we go. Let's play a three-inning game, you know, and see what happens, or a four-inning game and see what happens. And when, we put, when we're when we tied or leading late, we're tough to beat. I mean, that's just the way it is. And, and uh, we felt like if we could get a lead, we, we had a real chance to get after them. You know, I, I don't know. I, that's an interesting question. I, I guess uh, from an outsider looking in, uh, you'd say maybe there is because, um, you know, with them being a two seed, with them playing less games, they're supposed to win. we tied with them in the league. So, I mean, it's not like you got one team that won 30 games, one team that won 20. I think it's a very good matchup. I mean, we're different type teams. They certainly have more power than we do. Uh, but we do some things maybe that they don't do. So, I think it's a great matchup. Today's game was a fantastic game. If I don't get greedy with our starting pitching, I think we could have held them a little bit lower. I think giving up seven runs in that inning was, was probably a lot more my fault than it was the kids I put out there. Well, I'm going to go back and take a look at it. You know, when you've played as many games as we have in this short period of time, I, th I think I need to just go back and kind of collect my thoughts and look at it. I mean, everyone will be available, but at the same time, I don't want to make a decision on that right now. I don't even know where to start. Um, it's pretty unbelievable, to be quite honest. Um, I told some of the young guys, I put them aside, I said, hey, soak this in. I've been here four years, never experienced anything close to this. And um, man, some guys stepping up, um, everybody really. You got Graham throwing his first start. Um, Eddie made two good plays. Um, Brad coming in out of the bullpen, Stout coming in for two innings, then coming back for another two. In the second game, you got Shields on one, on one day's rest, throwing five innings. Sabru's played every game that we've been here, coming in and giving us over two winnings of great baseball. Um, and then you got guys just up there swinging the bat and uh, playing hard. I, I was on second base, and the shortstop asked me, he said, 
man, how, how are y'all doing this? And I was like, I just pointed to my chest and said, a lot of that, a lot of heart. Um, you guys have a lot of seniors on this team, and, and all of you guys play significant time. Um, do you guys kind of come together to lead this, or is a sense of, you know, just kind of talk about how you seniors have taken this team under your wing this week? Well, um, as most people probably know, this is going to be the last time for the majority of us to play this game. And we get put in the loser's bracket the first day, and it's like, man, we've got to win six in a row in four days to win this thing. And, I mean, I didn't – I knew we could do it. I didn't think we were. But now that we're here, there's no doubt in my mind, and I think every senior felt that way. And nobody just – nobody wants to stop playing. And it's – the leadership and the chemistry is un, unreal. The, um, <clears throat> they got the seven-run inning to – Turn a six nothing lead for you guys into a seven six lead for them. How big was it to get that run back and kind of kill that momentum in the next at bat? It was huge. Um, they are a team that feeds off of big innings, and once they get the big inning, coming out and putting up a zero, and then they just feed off that energy. And uh, us being here for however long, playing however many games, I've lost count. Um, we weren't scared. We've been down. We've had our backs against the walls, and we're all just sitting there like. You know, what do we have to lose? So we just kept playing. And I know they're scared to play us because we're on a roll. And, you know, what do we have to lose? We've won five in a row already. What do we have to lose? And that's everybody's just playing hard and just getting after it. Everybody, including the guys on the bench. It's unbelievable to be a part of this.